morning guys, thank you for joining us today. I'm Ed Florencio here at Tally Spear 77 Marine. I want to take the time and show you a 2021 36 Grand Coupe we have in that's pre-owned. We did sell it new, uh, it came back to us now. Um, it was um, housed over at Smith Mountain Lake, Virginia. So it's been in fresh water its entire life. It has 72 hours on the engine. It has twin 350 Volvo Penta stern driven engines. It has a 110 volt um, generator and it's sporting the steel gray hull with the bimini blue bootstripe and the black painted bottom. Let's go climb aboard and check it out. All right guys, we're up here on the slim platform of the 36 Grand Coupe. This boat is 37 feet, four inches in length. It has an 11.7 beam. So you have a lot of usable space on this boat. Um, so right now we're on the swim platform. The swim platform is very large and you can accommodate quite a few people on this platform itself. Um, you can even go to the extent, get some extra yard chairs and what have you, and uh, bring them out here so you can physically sit on the swim platform. Uh, we have an underwater swim step located right here that drops about a float underneath the water. The water level is level with the swim platform and then this will drop about a foot beneath the water. Uh, you also have a ladder that's located over here on the starboard side of the boat where you can lift this door up and drop your ladder if you wish to board and exit through there. This seat we have Back here on the stern, this does a couple different things for you. So right now I have it facing inward um, inside the uh, cockpit there. I'm gonna show you the functionality of how you can use this seat. So currently it's facing towards the bow of the boat. You can take this, put it back to allow you to sit to the stern or you can take this and lay this completely flat, turning all of this into a sun lounger. You can now go to the extent, you can bring this up. A teak table does fit down inside of this area here. And if you wanted to create more space within the cockpit or give yourself enough space varying back and forth with the table that's here, you can definitely do so. But this will push out roughly about 18 inches, giving yourself more space within the cockpit here. So now I have this seat pushed all the way back and you see the amount of extra space that we actually have here in the cockpit for entertaining. As we come in here, this seat here will allow you to also push so you can sit inwards. There'd be another teak table that's located behind this seat right here. This teak table. It does have a table leg that sits 45 degrees and it would sit right here and or back where we were. This chair here also uses the ability to sit forward or aft, depending on how you're using this area here. If you want it to be eye level with the captain, you have a switch here. Uh, this will raise just slightly below the same level of the helm chair. will give you the ability to look over the front of the windshield and enjoy it just like the captain's enjoying it. That's all the way. Alright guys, I'm going to go over a little bit of features uh, that this boat has. So right now we have an open, open cockpit layout. Uh, this boat does have macrolon enclosures. Um, so it's a very hard plastic that would enclose straight across here. I'll roll a picture in now so you can see exactly what I'm talking about.
in here is the Macmillan enclosure. So you can see this is not something you bend. This is actually very sturdy, very solid, easy to see through. It's like looking through glass. Here we have our smokeless grill back here. We have dual refrigerators. We have one refrigerator here and we have another one here. I have some extra drawers located here and here for extra storage. We have a stovetop burner. We have a trash can. And we have a sink here, hot and cold water. We also have a TV that comes down out of the top of the ceiling here. There are three smart TVs on this boat. turn on the hardtop lights. We have a couple hardtop lights in the boat. Uh, back here there's a couple switches over here as well. Uh, this will open up your engine hatch. We got bilge lights. We got the patio lights right up here now. And then we also have the underwater lights in blue. We'll come over here to the helm. So this boat is equipped with a large Garmin display. It has autopilot. It has joystick docking. It has your 110 VHF radio. Uh, it does have the Fusion stereo system as well. The Fusion stereo system can be controlled by this remote. Uh, there's other that can be controlled by your phone. Um, and it can also be controlled through the Garmin unit itself. The helm seat is powered and adjustable. It gives you the ability to slide forward and aft. You also have a bolster seat to sit higher and or you can create a leaning post within here. Um, you also have a teak step. If you wish to stand a little higher with a step. This window will open up here. Allows you to reach out, grab some dock lines, physically put your head out, see how far you are away from the dock. Remember, keeping yourself closer to one side, you know you're allowing a much larger gap on the other side. This boat does have a powered sunroof. Go ahead and open the sunroof up. And this is what makes this boat very, very special. This sliding glass windshield. Um, and I'll go over the benefits of this momentarily. So we'll go ahead, we'll slide this open. Open this door here. This will allow us to transit into the bow. As you can see, you got a large bow seating environment here. You got numerous cup holders. You even have a sail shade um, that you can connect to the top of the hardtop and with carbon fiber rods up here and shade this entire area. I'll roll a picture in here now as well. You also have the ability to sit straight up, facing forward while underway, and then you have the ability to also lounge. So the benefit of a boat like this, and why that sliding windshield really stands out, is this makes a remarkable day boat. It makes a remarkable bow riding boat. You have the ability to fully open up this entire boat, utilize it as a large bow ride, yachting vessel, but you still have the ability to overnight, and we'll go over that momentarily. You don't have to worry about walking on the catwalks. You can walk on the catwalks, but walking through that windshield creates a whole new environment in this vessel.
All right, guys, there's one thing I really wanted to show you. So on this 36 Grand Coupe, I wanted to show you how much space I truly have on this boat, how much we truly have. I'm six foot five. There is a lot of space for me to move around. I think from the top of my head, I still have about three or four inches remaining before I hit the top. I am comfortable in this vessel, comfortable. Um, we have a queen size bed right in front of us. You have 12 volt receptacles on either side. You have twin USBs on either side as well um, for ease, use and access to both persons on the bed itself. We'll go ahead and stop here and I'll go ahead and start showing you around a little bit. So straight in front of us is the queen size bed that I just discussed. You have storage above the mattress. You have a little closet located here. And then you have a smart TV facing towards the bed itself. This is the second smart TV on this vessel. As we spin around here, this countertop space, you have a microwave located down below the counter space. Behind here we have our AC DC distribution panel. We have a little settee that you can sit down on, some shelving behind it, little cabinet spaces, thermostat for your AC with and reverse heat. And down in here in your mid cabin, you'll have a nice twin size bed located over by the third smart TV. This also opens up and becomes one large king size bed as well. And I'll roll in a photo of that. As you come immediately down the cockpit steps into the cabin, you will roll into your head right here. This head has a subway flooring that's angled for all water goes down the drain. It's got a sink up design, so you have storage underneath the sink itself. You have your medicine cabinet and storage. You also have your glass shower with teak accents with a glass shower door as well. You have your teak seat over the electric flush head. Beautiful shower, guys. Beautiful head. I also wanted to take a mention, if you guys wanna order this vessel from me brand new, you have the option to either get the Macrolon enclosures that we discussed on this vessel. It gives you the open floor layout, but you have the ability to zip those up if you like. But you can also order it with the Salon sliding glass doors. That gives you the ability to completely close off, isolate indoor and out, and or you can still open it all up and still give you that large bow riding, day yachting atmosphere. All right, guys, I want to thank you for taking a moment of your time and looking at the 2021 Regal 36 Grand Coupe that I have here in stock. It's a pre-owned vessel and it's available now. Uh, feel free to give us a call at 704-892-8555. You can email us at sales at talliespier77.com or you can check out our website at www.talliespier77.com.